In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a stack bar chart in React Chart.js 4. So let's start to look how we can create in React Chart.js a stack bar chart. So right now we have this item here, and of course I have a stack bar chart file where we're going to put in all the data. So to do this, we have this blank template here. And by the way, if you want to join the Discord channel, check it out as well. It's all in there. And what we're going to do here is the following. We're going to create here, basically, I want to create here a div. And then in this div, we're going to put in our stack bar chart component. So we're going to say here, um, I guess, stacked bar chart. And it's, this is our functional component. However, of course, if I save this, we have nothing here. So we need to start working on doing this. To do this, what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to just start from scratch. I'm going to say import, and I want to import React from React. Then what I want to do here is also import, and specifically the bar component from React chart.js. And then to be specific, chart.js2. Then, once I have this, I want to import all the related components from the bar chart. So I'm going to say import. And then I'm going to say here, chart as chart.js. So that's the reference now from now on. And then what do I need here? I need a bar element. I'll be needing a category scale. I'll be needing the linear scale for the y scale and finally maybe a tooltip and a legend would be nice as well so once i did that i'm going to say here this all these uh components will come from chart.js chart.js there we are now once we did that i want to register all of these so we imported them but they are not activated and recognized so we're going to say here this chart.js what we use as a shorthand dot register and then in here we're just going to grab all of these with the exclusion of this one to put it in there there we are so once we did this we can now start to create our functional component so what we're going to say here constant um, stacked bar chart will be equal and then we have no parameters for now we don't need them and then we're going to say a constant we're going to put in here the basic chart.js items, which is the data, the options, and if ever something else. However, for us, we'll be using only the data. So we're going to say data equals, I'll just leave it blank for now, and constant options equals. So once we did that, what I want to do here is to return whatever we, we get. We return them, and then in here we're going to put in the value so what are the values we need in here well i want a div and then within the div i'm going to say here this will be our bar you can just say bar for now and then in this bar we will have a prop uh, sorry the prop we have a prop but the prop name is data that's this one here because I want to extract the data object, get that data and put it into a bar chart. So that's how you're going to say the, the prop will be called data, which will be equal to data as the object here. So this is the prop and the object we grab is this object here. So then the next thing what I want to do is well, same logic for another prop, but this time the prop will be options. I have the same name just to make it easy. So once we did that, let's give this a proper indentation here so it looks a bit more neat. Then I want to say here closing bar. All right, so once we have this, we are not done yet because what I need to do here is export this data. So I'm going to say here, export default and what I'm going to give it as a name will be the stack bar chart. So once I export this, I want to make sure it will be imported into our app here, our app.js. So we say here, import stack bar chart, and then we want to import this uh, 
I guess we can say um, from where is it well since the file is in the same folder as the app.js I can say here dot slash stack bar chart like that if I save that refresh you can see nothing really happens but it does recognize something if I would hide or unhide this let's see if it grabs something it does it grabs here automatically a value so let's see what this value truly is I'm honestly surprised why it grabs this value here however let's save that refresh there we are all right my bad apparently it was saving some old data so it should give you an error because we didn't have any values assigned to it so it would not make any sense to have something so what I need to do here is just to make sure we're going to put in the data value so I'm going to say labels well let's cross check this one more time by hiding this save all right we get this here so this one here is just missing data and that's why it gives an error because the bar has no data and doesn't make any sense to have a bar that has no data at all so you want to draw a chart without data so we're going to say here for the labels we're going to put in here very simple Monday Tuesday and Wednesday then what I want to do here is I want to say here for the data sets I'm going to have here a single data set here so then but it's still an array so we put in an array and within this array curly braces then what I'm going to say here uh, we're going to put in the following what do we need here for the data sets we need here probably a label to identify what this is and then we can just just to make that better like that we have here a label and we can call this our shop number one then we're going to say here the data and the data can be we have three dollars six dollars and nine dollars in sales the next one will be the background color we can give it the background color a basic color I'll just use the uh, react blue so that's 61 dark blue FB or dark blue Facebook I guess something like that I'm just making it up but that's the colors all right so we have these coordinates now because it's a stack bar I need to have another data set so I'm going to copy this put a comma here paste that in here say shop number two but this one will be I guess dark blue so if I save this nothing happens yet because we need to make sure that this is now active and as you can see here now we're getting something here that looks quite nice let's give it a proper padding here for the div I'm going to say style equals and then within here we can say here padding let's say 50 pixels this is a string value and then the width Yes, also string value is 80% save that refresh all right that looks slightly better so now what I want to do here is go in here and start to activate these two to stack them on top of each other to stack them we have here the options this is the reason why we have these options already added here and then we're going to say here um, we go into the scales and within the scales we have the X scale and within the X scale, I can say stack equals true. Save that. And as you can see here, now they're stacking, but they're stacking really or they're overlapping each other. I want to avoid that. So what I'm going to do here, comma, Y. Then I'm going to say stack equals uh, true again. Save that. There we are. So now we have them nicely stacked. And if I change the different numbers, 9, 3, six save that refresh and as you can see here the numbers are showing up nicely and they change the stacking order or they they just stack nicely and that's it 